Welcome to Moss No Machine Learning Concepts. This is, I think this is lesson, I think this is lesson seven, right? S-E-V-E-N. Or the seventh lesson. I guess I should have said it that way. Either way, in this lesson, we're going to tackle data cleansing. Let's move on. Data cleansing. We're going to define what data cleansing is. We're going to give it a definition, and we're going to give it a simple one. We're going to tell you what is not data cleansing. Data analysts do not cleanse data. Data cleansing is a very specific term used in machine learning. We're going to talk about most machine learning is data cleansing. Yes, it is. Well, it's also, we could say, data sourcing also. It's really these two. But this is combined 80% or more. Much more, I can tell you. We're going to give you an example of what data cleansing looks like. We're gonna talk about applied statistics and we're gonna talk about the number one course you can take to learn data cleansing. All right, preparing your data set for modeling. That's as easy as it gets, all right? This is what data cleansing is, all right? This is a definition for data cleansing. C-L-E-A-N-S-I-N-G, I think that's right. Can't spell for shit. Preparing your data set for modeling. That's all data cleansing is, all right? If you're a data analyst and you're making a KPI or you're making presentations for others to consume, you are not cleaning the data set. Even if you remove commas uh, from your data, even if you remove white space, that's not data cleansing, all right? Data cleansing is specific to machine learning, all right? Data analysts do not clean data specific to machine learning. Again, data cleansing is specific to machine learning, right? Data analysts do two things, right? They create KPIs, key performance indicators, and they create reports or dash, ooh, well, dash boards for what? For the business, for the business to consume. To read, all right? When we're doing something in machine learning, when we're cleansing our data set, we've got our data set here, and we're cleansing it from machine learning, no one is going to consume this but the machine learning engineers, all right? No one's going to see this because no one will understand it. It's all ones and zeros, right? There's nothing for the business to consume. They wouldn't understand anything in here, all right? So data analysts don't cleanse data when we're using the term specific to machine learning. 80% of real world machine learning is sourcing, right? Where's the data? Get the data from somewhere, right? You don't download it from the internet and then cleansing the data. And it's, I can tell you it's much higher than this, right? Modeling for me is about 3% of my job. And then there's sourcing, cleansing, and then meetings. These two, these two really, are the majority of the job, All right? You got to take your data. Most of it's in a SQL database. So you've got to use SQL to extract all this data out. And then once you get it to a CSV file for cleansing, right? Then you've got to apply your statistical techniques, stats, statistical, text, techniques to your data in order to cleanse it for, for what? For modeling. Why are we doing this exercise? Why are we doing all this data cleansing anyhow? Because machine learning models are finicky. The better the data, the better result. That's why we're doing this. All right, let's take a look at mean value mutation in action. So here we have these things. That's a NAN, a NAN value, NAN. What does NAN mean? In Python, man, in Python NAN means not a number. All right. We don't want that. All right. We can't have that in our machine learning models. Your model is going to do much better if you remove these. So we apply a technique called mean value immutation to get rid of these. So whatever feature this is that we need to get rid of these NANs for, we simply come here and we add up all the values and then we divide by that total number. And then we fill them with that number. Right? That's all mean value mutation is. 
All right, so you can see on our second one over here, here is the mean value for that feature. Here is the mean value for that feature. And everywhere there's a NAND value, you can see we've inserted the average or the mean, right? So it's really important to understand that just because you know what mean is in statistics, it doesn't mean anything in applied machine learning. You're going to have to know how to apply statistical techniques to your data, right? You're going to have to know data cleansing. And this is what mean value mutation is. Now this, this feature now, this fitness score is model ready, right? This specific feature, this one right here, has mean value mutation applied to it, and we're good to go. Most all data cleansing, man, grammar sucks. How about most data cleansing is applied statistics? We just talked about that. Almost all data cleansing is applying statistical techniques, again, stat text, to your data. This is going to be a database picture. All right. To produce a clean data set for the model. We want one, zeros, ones, 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 ones. We want that whole data set filled in. We want it to be perfect for the machine learning model. So the model, that's another M, can give us the best result. That's what we're doing this for. That's why we're doing this exercise. We want the best result and for this model to do its thing, right? we have to give it the cleanest data possible. No course is as important as data cleansing. Uh, yeah, for your career in machine learning. I, I would say I would say maybe I'm a little overzealous with that. I would say probably data sourcing, right? Uh, learning SQL, data sourcing, which is mostly uh, SQL, is, uh, come on, come on, my little arrow, is every bit as important as data cleansing. Um, but once you have your data set and once you're ready to begin modeling, right, the entire process, the entire pipeline, th that's right. Data cleansing is is it, right? This is, this is where you're going to get your gains. It's not from the model. Right? All your gains come from formatting your data in the best possible shape for modeling. All right, the top course. Uh, I've got other top courses here, but this, this really is it. All right, so this is on LogicBot, my platform, Log, Logic Bot. That's a B. Uh, again, can't spell for shit. Over here, there it is. You'd think I could spell it, it was right there. <laughs> so that's my platform. This is a class. You're going to really need to take and you're really going to need to learn it l-e-a-r-n learn it not watch it like a movie it's not a movie none of these are movies you'll need to take notes take notes and i mean granular grant see granular notes this is what you'll be doing most of the time so this is what you should learn you should be an expert at data cleansing if you ever want to work in applied machine learning this will be the top course. All right. So we gave a very simplistic definition for data cleansing, right? Data cleansing is preparing your data set for modeling. All right. So we want to give the model the cleanest data possible. And that's what data cleansing is. Now, data analysts, data analysts create dashboards, data analysts create dashboards, dashies, and they create KPIs. All right. To do this, they do have to work with data also, but they don't cleanse the data for modeling. They might take out commas here, or they might make sure the numbers don't have decimals, right? This is for presentation to the business. This is for presentation. Presentation. It's not for modeling. So, Data cleansing is specific to machine learning, all right? We talked about an example of mean value, mean value, uh, impute, and mutation. We've noted that almost all data cleansing, almost all data cleansing is applied statistics. And we talked about the number one course. I promise it will be, be the number one course you find on data cleansing anywhere. And it will be the most important course you take for your career as a machine learning engineer. I 100% guarantee it. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.